In our previous video, we looked at moles, Avogadro's number, and molar mass, and how those three things are related. In this video, we want to look at how we apply that. How do we relate uh, moles, number of particles, and mass for a specific substance, whether it's a compound, whether it's a single element, whether it's a molecule. We're going to see the same process it, it can be applied across all of those. So to do this, we're going to look through an example. So let's say we have 24.5 grams of copper. So we have a sample of copper. And what we want to do is we want to figure out, well, in that 24.5 grams of copper, how many atoms of copper are we going to have? Okay, and so we have to think, well, what relationships do we know that exist that tell us something about amount, a mass that we can weigh out of copper and the number of atoms of copper? Well, if I'm going to go from a mass of copper, there's no direct uh, correlation or conversion factor between mass and atoms. But we do know that we can go the mass of copper to the moles of copper, and then from there, once we have the moles of copper, we can find the number of atoms, specifically of copper. And each of these places represent a conversion factor. So if I'm going to go from mass to moles, our conversion factor here is going to be our molar mass, or atomic mass, since we're talking about a single atom. And when I want to go from moles to the number of atoms, that's where we would use Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So we see that all three of these are related to each other. So if I know one of them, mass, I may need to, do, need to do a couple conversions, but then I can get to the number of atoms. So let's go ahead and do that. We had 24.5 grams of copper, and we want to figure out well, how many atoms we have. To do that, we first want to convert to the number of moles. And so we go to the periodic table, and we look at uh, the... Uh, molar mass of copper and we find that we have 63.546 grams of copper for every mole of copper. And again I got that from the periodic table, it's uh, atomic mass. <clears throat> well now this would tell me how many moles I would have, but I want to get to the number of atoms that we actually have of copper. Okay, and so we're going to find out the number of atoms of copper and we now need to go from grams to moles, and then moles to number of atoms in this case. Whatever we want to deal with, it could be some kind of number of particles. Well, based upon Avogadro's number, one mole of whatever it would be, in this case copper, is equivalent to Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of copper. And so now we've converted from mass to moles, moles to atoms using these two conversion factors. And we would go ahead and find out that we have 2.32 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of copper. Well, that makes sense that we should have a really, really, really large number of copper atoms when we find out and measure it based upon a kind of a really large, fairly large number of uh, mass of, of copper. <clears throat> and so now we see we can convert between any one of these. Now, more broadly, we can say... This doesn't have to be for copper. This could be mass of any substance. This could be mass of aluminum oxide. And then that would be the moles of aluminum oxide. And then it would be not the number of atoms of copper, but we would look at the number of formula units of aluminum oxide. So the same process of mass to moles to number of atoms and back and forth can be applied using these two different conversion factors. Avogadro's number between number of atoms and moles and the molar mass, and this is specific to that substance. Okay, so if I'm going from aluminum oxide to aluminum oxide, I need the molar mass of aluminum oxide. Avogadro's number is true for all substances. One mole of any substance is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles of that substance, whether it be ions or molecules or formula units, depending on what we're talking about. So hopefully now we can see we can relate or compare moles, mass, and number of particles using these two conversion factors, molar mass and Avogadro's number.